Greetings at YouTube video fans. This particular uh, uh, teardown and repair here will be a Alcor uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge. Uh, the glass inside of the gauge, you can see here that it uh, has actually down here where you see the screwdriver is, uh, you can see how it has moved off. You can see that the glass is loose there. So we're going to disassemble this and attempt to uh, glue the glass uh, back into position. So I guess we will uh, take it apart here. Now that we have all the screws out, if we can see how the uh, case actually comes apart here. And we can uh, set the gauge mechanicals apart and uh, pull up our... I'm going to set this aside over here. And uh, see how exactly the uh, case actually fits together here. I guess we can't see inside of there too well, can we? We get a little bit more light on there. And we can uh, see the glass was apparently uh, simply just glued around the edges. You can see a, some, a little bit of glue here and some at the bottom. The, doesn't look like it was actually glued in that well. In the case, yeah, look at that. Doesn't look like the uh, case itself actually was uh, glued that well either. It shouldn't be too much of a problem to uh, simply glue this back in there. It uh, actually looks like it has been uh, glued in once before. So apparently this isn't the first time that it has uh, come loose. Well, you really can't see this very well, but the uh, apparently this was glued in once before with super glue. I managed to scrape out enough of the old glue so I can uh, re-put the lens back in. I think what I'll do is I'll use some epoxy on the back side of the glass to hold it in. Okay, the uh, glass seems to sit in there fairly well. Let's get a little bit of epoxy on there now. Okay, uh, not exactly a professional job, but it is glued back in. You can see a small portion of the meter face uh, right here where the plastic was so thin that in cleaning the old adhesive off this actually broke away. It looks like that at some time in the past that it had been sanded or filed in this area right here making it very thin and uh, and in, in, in cleaning it, it simply just uh, broke off. You can actually see see here what looked like a file or some sort of filing or sanding marks which uh, thinned it out quite a bit. Let's take our housing here and uh, let me zoom this back out. It's actually just a, in just a little too close. There we go. Uh, that looks interesting. 
there's actually a, actually a a zeroing meter zero inside under a little metal tab that sticks up. Let's see if I can't uh, align the tab on the meter. align with uh, okay uh, we'll just uh, insert the meter back inside of, of the housing here hopefully the little metal tab will line up I guess you can't see what I'm seeing see down in there or not but uh, there is a uh, little uh, metal tab right there that fits in between a part of the meter If we can uh, line this up a little bit, Let's see about getting our get my fingers out of the way here. Get the uh, small screws back into place. Slightly confined space here. Oops. Just uh, grab a hold of that there and finish putting that screw down in there. Oh, that's probably tight enough. Well, I should always actually put all the screws back in and uh, so that they can line up and then uh, and then tighten them all down rather than tightening one down, which could uh, throw your alignment off. You may not be able to get the other ones in. Well, that should be... Uh, eh, that's good enough there. I guess uh, I'd like to do another video on the installation of the cage, maybe even on its operation. But, uh, well, this certainly wraps this one up. Have a nice day.